Welcome back then, this is the Lee Valley White Water Centre and this is the final of the men's slalom in the county. The course will drop five and a half metres from start to finish through Piccadilly Circus. That's Ben Nevis. Negotiate the oval till the final big drop, Big Ben. At the men's K1 event in Beijing, there was a rare medal for Togo. However, the gold medal went to Germany. Well, he's one of those athletes that you would describe as being a rank outsider, but maybe today could be his day. Well, this athlete's life could change considerably in the next two minutes. All still out there, but must work really, really hard to take a medal. Moving through the water to Piccadilly Circus. Had to slow down to get through that gate. Ouch! Right in the head. Needs to keep nice and dry through Piccadilly Circus. Well, this gate proved to be a little problematic, but now he's through that gate. Working hard through the first time check. Did well to keep momentum through Ben Nevis. Well, looked on course to go through that gate, but somehow missed it. Well, that was a hard one to get through, but he managed it. Did well to get through that gate. Passes that gate with ease. Well, looking a little sluggish at this stage. Important to get the technique right here in this upstream gate. Had to fight to get back through that upstream gate. in the final section, having taken a look at that check. Paddling well, paddling really well here through that gate. Well, it took an awful lot of hard work and effort, but eventually got through that gate. Very pretty. With a time of 100. He knows he could have done better. Well, this water today has really taken its toll on the athletes. Found it very, very tough through the first part of this course. Not really got the technique that's going to take this athlete into the medal places, you wouldn't think. Not a bad run. In fact, you'd probably say that's very much middle of the pack kind of performance. China, with a time of 100. Italy finished with silver. And a place on the podium for Team USA, who finish in third. That means a bronze medal. The pressure's mounting here at the Olympic Stadium ahead of the men's 400 metres final. Welcome along, you're just in time for these athletes to work out who's going to be the number one. Jamaica's men haven't yet moved up to dominate over 400 metres. In fact, their last medal was a bronze way back in Sydney in 2000. Well, he's winding up the crowd with the way he's responding to them. On your marks, set. Silence descends. One lap of the track then for these eight athletes as we're underway first time. Needs to find a way to get back in this. Needs to improve on this position. We're approaching the halfway mark. 
down the back straight. In first place, South Africa. Second place, Jamaica. Opening that stride up round the bend and now into the final home straight. This is a terrific race. Final stages. Very, very tight at the front of this. China finish with gold. Silver for South Africa. The bronze will go to Great Britain. To take a medal at the Olympic Games is always a good sign. It doesn't matter whether it's silver or bronze. A really good effort. Pump of the fist in celebration. And quite rightly, he gets the accolades of the crowd. Well, plenty to admire about that performance as we take another look at the replay. Looked very, very composed on those starting blocks. And then, as the race wore on, was very much in the thick of it. And when it came down to the line, I'm sure they'll be delighted with the finish. This is a proud moment for this athlete as the crowd rises one for the national anthem. A lifetime of commitment and years of training and hard work, all for this one moment. So much joy from those performances. So much credit as well these three athletes must take. Really was high-class stuff. And now he'll always be known as an Olympic medalist. Let's have a quick glance at the medal standings. That's the end of the day's proceedings, but still plenty of Olympic champions to be crowned.